Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with another review of the Tarantula 1505C Camera Bird. Now, uh, the previous flight I did with this, uh, the battery that comes with this in particular, <laughs> here is that battery, let me show you it. It's a little 300 milliamp per hour, 3.7 volt, 70, 20, 32. Anyways, this little battery here does not seem to have sufficient power to uh, power both the quadcopter and its camera. So what I've done for today's flight is I've replaced that battery. Let me pull it out and show you here. With a 400 milliamp per hour in particular, this is the battery I'm using for today's flight. This is a 400 milliamp per hour, 75, 20, 35, Shahida, S-H-I-D-A, LiPo, 3.7 volt PCM, 15G24. I don't know what the 15G24 is. It doesn't have stamped on it uh, what its C rating is. I'm hoping it's a 20C or so, but we'll find out. We'll see if this particular battery has sufficient power versus the stock battery that comes with this quadcopter. So it fits in there, you know, as it will most um, uh, crony style batteries, you know, these little ones with the white connectors on them. Um, a 500 milliamp hour CMX 5C won't fit in. But these little uh, crony and micro style batteries, 300 to 400 mil, 450 milliamp per hour, will fit in here. So let's go for a flight of the tarantula and see if this particular battery corrects the issue. Notice this today, for today's flight, I've also pointed the camera angle slightly downwards so we won't be seeing the uh, um, fangs here of the tarantula. <laughs> okay, 30 yard the quadcopter. Binding it to the transmitter, turning on video. We're going to start off and we're going to record entirely with video this whole flight. Let's see if this battery can, can stay in the air with this quadcopter. I am going to stay close just to be safe until I know that that quadcopter's battery can handle it. Can you see me down here, folks, since I'm pointed slightly downward? And we'll fly around the, the area here with this 400 milliamp per hour battery. Hopefully, this battery will be better. Flying nice and stable. It is a stable flyer, by the way, <laughs> in beginner's rate. So far, so good. Now, some folks might say, well, you had a defective battery. That's the battery that came with me, or came with it the first time. Vortex ring state there. We're still flying good. Now again, the advertised range for this is 100 meters. So, to test that, I turn the lights off on that thing. I don't need those lights. There, lights are off. To test that, I'm going to try to fly. I'm going to come down a little bit lower too. See if I can make it to the other end of the field from, from this end of the field, which is 100 meters away. And right there, I'm having that same problem again. Unless I went out of range, I don't know. But that was about 80 meters away. And it came down on its own. Well, it landed here about 80 meters away. And it is still recording. Let's stop that video. And its door popped open. I should have taped this shot before coming here. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Starting the video camera one more time. Is it recording? It's recording. Continuing on. This is a nice little quick copter though. <laughs> let's just see what I can do while recording. We can continue recording without losing power again. I think that time was just simply a, a flew out of range of the transmitter at about 80 meters. So now we know the range of this is about 80 meters actually. Flying nice and stable with the camera. Walking backwards. Can you see me down here, folks? Put it in follow me mode. <laughs> Manual follow me mode.
So yeah, it appears that the problem with this quadcopter is the battery that comes with it. It's just uh, insufficient power. They need to supply this quadcopter with a better battery than that little 300 milliamp per hour that they put in there. Um, its C rating is probably way too low for this, for the power requirements of both this uh, quadcopter and transmitter. But with this new battery, there you go, it works. Go to higher rate now, intermediate. And bring this in, we'll do some maneuverability flying while recording. Let's see if it can, can do both. Yeah, that seems to have corrected the issue, folks. Simply putting a different battery in. So, I don't know if it's a one-off with the battery that they gave me. You know, maybe that battery was just bad. Or, you know, if it's a problem with all batteries of that size, that 300 milliamp per hour. But this one seems to, to be much better. Go up wind here and try something here. Go into expert rate. I'm getting dizzy watching that video, folks. I'm still recording. Okay, let's give it some power. I give it a punch. Still working. <laughs> Got dizzy. Going back to beginner rate. Oh, the camera went up again. Yeah, you want to tape this door shut. That's that's the big one weakness of this quadcopter. Overall, so again, you know, the quadcopter is great. The battery that came with it was not so great. Um, let me stop the video recording while I do this. Okay, let me bring that camera angle up just a little bit. See if that's okay. Okay, let's go fly again. Let me, let me calibrate it. You calibrate it by going down and to the right. Okay, let's turn the video camera back on again. You're recording. Go back up. With the angle, the camera angle is up somewhat. Still recording. It was a good quad cut. It's just that that battery was bad. I don't know if all batteries are bad, but if you get this, um, I'll give you uh, links to this battery and others that are would be appropriate for this quadcopter. But uh, in case others receive a defective battery, also nice and stable. And beginners, right? This is a good camera quadcopter. Great flight time with that 400 milliamp per hour I put in there. So a much better quadcopter with a battery change. Simply a battery change. Okay. Is that vortex range? That, yeah, it's getting weak. I gotta land it, folks. That's the end of the battery life. Let me go over here, turn off the video. Video coming off now. So, let me turn this, okay, green light. In effect, okay, it's a much better flyer with a different battery. The whole problem that, I, that you've seen in the previous video, folks, was the battery. Um, replace that battery if you do have the same issue. Um, it's a much better flyer without it. Again, I just put it in a 400 milliamp per hour I had to, happened to have lying around the house. I'll include a link if I can find a, a specific link to that battery, but uh, that battery seems to work great with this quadcopter. So I hope you enjoyed this flight of the Tarantula 1505C. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.